Alright, welcome back to Dying Light 2. I'm just picking up where we left off. Um, I did a shit ton of grinding, as you can tell by the amount of moolah I have, and the whole map has a bunch of shit on it now. Um, I leveled up my character quite a, quite a bit, and uh, got a bunch of skills. So, alright, let's continue with the story. <laughs> Island. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. Now, Lieutenant Rowe, I have orders from the commander. I ain't Rowe. He went off with a squad to New Dawn Park. I'm Lieutenant Grady. Great. Guess I gotta keep going. What are you talking about? Show me those orders, son. I was supposed to give them directly to Ro. And I'm Ro when Ro's not here. It's called chain of command. Give him. What the hell? Did the commander say why we're being pulled back to center? He didn't seem too eager to explain anything to me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, boys, time to pack it in. Command's ordered us to withdraw. It's back to base for us. We're doing what? We're leaving this outpost? Don't question me. You can't hide behind Meyer's skirt out here. You're... you're abandoning us? What do we do? We'll be defenseless. Go arm the survivors. Then we roll. If I were you, I'd give them plenty of weapons. The Renegade sent a whole detachment to the Fisheye. Any other bright ideas, civilian? Just a question. Where can I find Ro? New Dawn Park, like I said. Not sure if they made it yet. You take these to him and tell him I'm on it. You better you than me, buddy. Ro's gonna blow his top when he reads these. And I'm here to save lives, not lose mine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Assholes. We won't stand a chance. I'm really sorry, civilian, but we have orders. You can't leave us. I'm really sorry, civilian, we have orders. I don't know why they keep calling more than civilians. Goddamn renegades attacking the canteen. Everyone, I'm going to New Dawn Park. Apparently, Roe went there. I still don't understand why the renegades attacked the fish eye. They've got their camps, but. Butcher hasn't attacked the fish eye since. Never. Even he respected the Night Runner, so no fucking clue what's going on in his head. Who the fuck's the butcher? The butcher. Tell me more about him. The Colonel. He is the leader of the Renegades. He gave the order to doubt the city of chemicals. That's when my parents died. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Saw my dad once in my whole life. And if mom was good at anything, it was drinking. She abandoned me. That's how you ended up in Waltz's program? <sighs> More or less. I don't remember. And your parents? Remember them? No. I just remember the hospital. I'm looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You seen him? Who are you? Why do you want to know? I have orders from Major Matt. Lieutenant Grady said he was here. It'll be okay. Where's your squad and commander? We were making camp when renegades attacked us. Rowe and the others, they got a few. Then they went after the ones that tried to run. What about you? Couldn't keep up. I lost contact with them. Then another group attacked me. What are they doing here? The renegades weren't attacking our positions in the center. Oh, fuck. Hide. Still some rats here. Hide. Go to hell. Sure. 
offer to leave it. <laughs> Aren't we, gentlemen? Rock, get him! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Ow. Bastard with a bow. Ow. Oh. Bastard. Assholes. Okay, let's see what's going on now. Hey. Oh, it's safe now. You can come out. So, um, where's Ro? Uh, camp was supposed to be up there on the hotel roof, by the junction with Newell's Drive. Uh, there's a winch in the back of the building. You can take that up. If they haven't been able to come back yet, that's where you'll find them. Thanks. If you can make it back to base on your own, go there. And don't let yourself get chased into a box again. As he closes the door. <laughs> Ruan, I've located Row, a hotel by the New Walls Drive and Varian intersection. Congrats. One big thing before the meeting with Row. He's got a fucking hair trigger temper. Yeah, Grady already warned me. As long as he has info on the GRE database, he can be as pissy as he wants. Brave man. Did you hear? We'll talk after you meet him. See you there. Nowhere safe anymore. Hey, bastard. Hey there, motherfucker. <laughs> I love that so much. That'll never get old. Oh, no. Problemo. Oh, that didn't work. Nope. Uh, not yet, but I ran across some renegades. I got him, don't you worry. I don't need no goddamn help. Quick! Help me! Let's kick those renegades' asses! There's another one! Get him! Renegade or... They're taken care of. Check the status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir, Lieutenant, sir! Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa Zelza brought us. Withdrawal? Now? This is some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other... Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron, they've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? 
I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important if idiotic business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. It fucking sucks. But an order's an order. Bro, wait. Luan, do you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database. And you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out? Or take care of it here and now? Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. Bam. Baby. Just give me a second while I inject these into my ass. That's some good shit, I tell you what. Alright, back to the matter at hand. What's next? Next? Did you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list. And you? You can enjoy life in the center. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list? They'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden? I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Lawan. Goodbye. All right, where to now? Oh, fuck. It's a long ways. <sighs> It's a little bit faster than what it was before. Hello? Hello? We're under attack. Renegades. They surrounded us on the island. We don't stand a chance. Mother I'm buddy. begging you help. Where is that at? Back in the fucking opposite direction, ain't it? You can wait, I'm gonna loot real quick. Ooh. Shut up, Stevie. Keep the bow just in case I need it. I guess I'll drop this. this shit. I have the hat. Ah! <laughs> 
Don't you climb that, sir. All of Villador is coming to see the Carnage Hall Carnage. Equip the sword. Shut up. back here. Can't bother you now. What happened here? When we were just working, and they attacked. Went for our supplies and cut down anyone in their way. Yeah, but not everyone. The others, where are they? I didn't see anyone else. They must have been taken. Oh, God. Maria. Robert. They took my friends. Now, you know where they would have taken your friends? The border between the Butcher's Turf and ours is close to here. That's where the Renegades have their camp. Will you help them? Please? There are no peacekeepers here. No one to help them. I'll try. Thank you. Be careful. They might have outposts along the route. I'll guide you over the radio. My name's Casper. Damn it. Say something as simple as just saving in the community. <laughs> See footprints. The fuck am I looking for? That survivor was right. Something is really fucking wrong here. I'm at the first outpost. There's no sign of your friends. Oh, they must have moved on. Toward the camp, uh, further west on Fulton Tower Road. 
Catch them before they get there. I'm on my way. I don't understand. They said the renegades are dangerous, but the ceasefire lasted for years. It's as if they no longer fear the peacekeepers. What changed that? Maybe we're about to find out. I'll be in touch. Catch up to them. I think I saw who was commanding those renegades. It was Elias. He was a survivor. Uh, lived in the area two years ago. He was a lawyer before the epidemic, a man of principle. And he disappeared. There was a lot of talk about it. It disappeared? A year ago. This guy came sniffing around here. One of the butcher's men, they said. And that he worked for the GRE back in the day. He tried to talk people into going to the dam. Promised them weapons. And the ones who did... ...never came back. When I saw Elias just before... ...he was... ...strung out. Like he was on drugs. His eyes... ...terrifying. As if there was no one left behind. I'll look into it. Yeah. Yeah, Sam. Time to take you down. I made it. All I found were some renegades here. So they made it to the camp. There's no saving my friends now. I'll scout out the camp and see what I find. I didn't dare ask, but we can't give up. Help them, please. <laughs> Looks like there's another asshole over here. Too many muscles! Quiet! What are you doing here? 
Let these people go. Oh, don't think so, PK Puppet Boy. You're gonna strangle on your strings. Curtain's coming down on all of you. But we ain't got no strings. He cut us free. What the fuck are you talking about? The Master freed our bodies and minds. We now see that each time we strike down an enemy, we absorb their strength. Now you can join us, or you can meet your maker this very day. Why have you broken the truce? Power, my friend. In our unstrung state, we possess boundless strength. Infinite power. Waltz, our master, has gifted us this power. Jack, Matt, and the puppet keepers tangled and strangled against us. Powerless. They're just a bunch of pathetic juicers. Thanks for the offer. But you're fucking nuts. You understand nothing. Get him! Alright. Aiden, your friends are safe and sound. Thank you, Aiden. We are all deeply in your debt. You better be, damn it. Alright. Back to whatever I was doing before this. Which was going this way. Yes, I think I can. You runners ain't shit. Oh, oh no, you got me too. Nah, I'm not chasing them. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. It's not worth it. Alright, I'm gonna use this big ass winch. Get me all the way there. This is scared the shit out of me to actually do this in real life. Nothing, sir. I heard the place you're looking for was destroyed. I'm sorry. Thanks. But sorry isn't much consolation. I know, son. But I might be able to help you out. I'll get back to you.
Go on. Yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Go on. Yeah, a crystal there. Hey, Major Matt. Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. Uh. What the? Don't fall in the gear. Don't. What the shit? <laughs> Wait! Stay away! Hey! What the fuck just happened here? Uh, where... Where's the... Observatory? Is that it over here? How the fuck did it get all the way from over there? To... Okay. You got me closer. Uh. I need to look closer. <clears throat> what do I want? I'll try that. Um, slide jump. Click. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Thanks. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. Take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go! They've already attacked two of our camps. For everything we can to arm you, if needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. What? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Yeah, I'll take a look. Thanks. Any news about him yet? No, ma'am. We would have told you. Oh, this is unbearable. My poor damn stupid Ator. We're doing our best, ma'am. I think you can go see Matt. He should be in his quarters by now. I have been there, that guy. I thought our chances against the break. Aiden, don't just stand there. 
Well, here I am. You said you have information for me? Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up a trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. What do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. How do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first, see what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Got something to say? A UV flashlight. Awesome. So it has to be equipped.
time, but a quarter. And can you imagine? I got my limit. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. The ship. In the one? Aiden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Myra and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. How can I put a smile on that face? Ooh. I want a boomstick. <laughs> you know your way around this stuff. I uh, sure doodly do. Alright. Fuck. I need to get some more military too. You come to the right place or what? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And what's happening between renegades and PKs is called a stalemate. Heard about the qualifications? Fuck you guys. <laughs> Juan Rayner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you. From Meyer and the commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please... Make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? 
The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm-hmm. All right, listen. I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need them? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So you have to try harder. Oh. Okay. You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Bastard. Returning to more pressing matters. And? We try did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me back at my place. Aiden. We'll talk. <laughs> see what shit I can buy. Speciality right. item. Ask and you shall receive, baby cakes. Baby. Ain't you decisive? So, all my shit. Always in the market for those. Feel free to bring me more of those. I don't get anything for those because those are sh things that I redeem. What the heck? Why not? I sell all this extra shit that I can't use. No such thing as too much, right, honey? And sell all my valuables. Always good to have extra. Pleasure haggling with you. Nobody would dare Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps, and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable... He can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. 
Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. I want a fucking crossbow. Nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. no room for you in the helicopter. I had to save my collection. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. <laughs> well, there's no helicopter here still. paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So he's still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay. I'll go there. And listen. That vodka? Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Oh. 
Fine, I'll go to the stupid fucking party. Where's it at? Anything else here? Oh shit, I'm about to run out of steam though. Birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Yeah, here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gacho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you. I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it, said Dino Wall. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, listen, happy birthday. Uh, lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. A bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. Oh. Aiden! You came! You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. You won? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? Why not? Okay, let's do it. My man. Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself or oh, you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? Maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. Okay. Your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean... I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. <laughs> there. Let's hear those pipes, Ro. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. <laughs> you might think I'm tough and all. 
but I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. You're my ragamuffin. I know it's just a silly name, but you set my heart aflame. It's true. Good Lord, shoot me. Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note. Wow, man, that was... That was something. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. Oh, yeah, the, the hit list. How did it start? With a bastard who had to pay for what he did. It started with one. Then there was another one. And then a whole bunch of them. But who was the first one? That's another question. Drink. No. He's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC tower. Frank lost almost everyone. The night runners fell. Frank started to drink. Gave up on life. On himself. So I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. <laughs> well, fuck that shit up. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> that's all the time I got for this episode. I'm gonna continue the story in the next episode, so, uh... I get the next video out as soon as I can, which will be since I'm going to be continuing the story, so. Yeah, this is goodbye for now.